We're gonna be announcing our giveaway winners later on in this video, so stay tuned. Morning everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Had a lot of fun fishing the tournament with John uh, on my home water, Lake Orville. It's always a blast. You know, it's amazing to see that the type of fish that are showing up in these tournaments, it's just, it's incredible. This lake is on the upswing and I, I couldn't be more, I couldn't be happier. So if you guys want to book a trip, I'll be available after the 14th of March to be able to take you fishing. If you have social media, Facebook, Instagram, message me. We can coordinate some dates or email me. But you can book a trip deposit at bassunionfishing.com and we can get you out there. We got to catch up with a few orders today. Um, we'll do that. We're going to do some modifications to the boat and uh, that I've been meaning to do for a while. We just got new carpet and padding on the deck so it seems like since we put the padding that the the rod lockers in the compartments they're not uh staying open as well um the padding's pretty thick on the sides so i'm gonna go ahead and replace these uh these struts and hopefully it keeps them open um and also you see what i'm dealing with right here see how it doesn't want to stay open I'm gonna try to figure out a way that I can also either mount a strut or some type of uh, mechanism to keep it open without having to physically grab a stick <laughs> to, to keep it open I yeah, see what happens I was able to get this thing this to open so we're good there but want to be able to open these so they stay open and then same with this when you open this so watch so when you open this it only wants to open right there so i also want to put like some type of strut or shock so it stays open <laughs> one of the other modifications that i've been wanting to make to this the trailer for huh, years. I've seen them on the newer trailers that's been coming out and I I just had to have it. I saw it, I finally had an opportunity to get it, I had to have it. It's called the trick step. So I mounted pretty quick. You know all it all it really is it's just uh, a few steps and mounts on the your winch post of your trailer. Four bolts holds it on on this side but it can hold up to like 400 something pounds so I knew this thing is not gonna break on me so we'll be making getting in and out of the boat way easier than uh, than it used to be so I'm pretty stoked with this and we put nothing to the test for sure but uh, yeah I'm excited it's making all these little improvements to make the old girl more fishable enjoyable comfortable yeah if you guys haven't noticed on the website I now have a matte green or green pumpkin is now a matte color and we also have paint free eyes on our football jigs heavy cover jigs on all of our jigs we have paint free eyes so I know a lot of people have requested that we finally made it happen I'm constantly trying to improve and make you guys satisfied so if there's any other product you guys like to see on the website comment down below let me know i'd love to see your suggestions and we'll see if we can make it happen
Just gotta throw some weed guards in it now. It's our green, matte green pumpkin red. That red really pops. And there we go. This is the finished product. Like I said, we got our matte green pumpkin. Some green pumpkin red skirts. And then we have a matte brown finish. Some matte brown red. Yeah, these turned out really sweet. So something different about our jigs. Use a extremely light weed guard. We call it our finesse weed guard. Just barely any pressure, it goes down and sticks these fish. Compared to a, your traditional weed guard, this is perfect for that open water, dragging over rock structure. I wouldn't recommend throwing this around trees because you're bound with this foot with this football head shape, you're you're gonna get hung. There's no doubt about it. A football is not the best suited jig for when it comes to fishing trees and wood. Um, I do recommend our heavy cover flipping jig for if you're gonna fish scenarios like that. You can fish it into leaves, sticks, wood. Um, you can get it in and you can get it out. And it's got a really thick hook that gets them, doesn't bend, and it will pull them out of the cover. And I just want to clear something up. If your order is over a hundred dollars, pick up a shirt. I've, I've seen quite a few people that order over a hundred dollars and don't take advantage of the free uh, promo shirt. So to clarify, this is the process, how to get that free shirt. If there was confusion on how to get it. Um, when you're on the website, if your cart is over the $100 mark, before you add the t-shirt to your cart. If it's over 100, add the shirt that you'd like, and then under the coupon code or discount code, put promo t-shirt. The price will be cut down to zero and you'll get that free. And on top of that, if your order's over $50, you get free shipping. And if you order any apparel at all, your order gets free shipping. So that's just my way of thanking you guys for supporting this channel and supporting my brand and me. So thank you. Yeah, not too bad. A little DIY, doing it all myself. Grassroots right here. So we got a few things done. Boom, that's open, stays open. Sorry for this techno light. <clears throat> got the live wool lids all figured out. It's functional. It's not fresh, but it is functional. Stays up. It's not coming down on me. Boom, the same on this side. Golden. Yeah, that'll work. Now the lo locker actually stays open. Yeah. Replace that gas strut. Just went to O'Reilly's, picked me up, uh, took it off, went in, took the measurements on it, and got a, if I remember right, this is a 54 pound uh, pressure rating, and it holds it up, no problem. Before this thing, it was barely hanging on. The gas strut before, it was, uh, it was done for. 
I think it was probably like had like five, ten pounds of pressure left, not much. So we redid all the compartments. They all stay open now. It'll make life easier. And then we got the back compartment too. And we did the same thing. Bam. That stays open. All the lids stay open. Make life easy. And now the moment you guys have been waiting for, we're gonna do that giveaway. We're gonna be selecting two winners for our giveaway that we released from over the weekend. Um, all you had to do was like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. That's it. Two winners. Each winner would win a $25 gift card to our online web store. Get yourself a shirt, some, some jigs, whatever you want. And I did all this just because I am appreciative to everybody that watches and supports this channel, and supports this movement. So we typed in the URL, filter duplicate users. I'm using a, it's called commentpicker.com. I used them before. And it's pretty, pretty neat if you guys do uh, giveaways and stuff. So we typed the URL, filter duplicate users, get YouTube comments, two winners. We have 151 comments. Start, okay, let's see, first person. Ooh, trapped 925. Keep doing everything you do, Joe. We'll keep it going, brother. We will keep it going. You are the one of the winners. Please email me, bassunifishing at gmail.com or message me on Facebook, Instagram. Get that gift card your way. Thank you, thank you. And we are gonna do another winner. Ray C, you are our second winner, bro. Awesome, good luck everyone. Great to see your channel growing. Good luck on your upcoming tournaments. Thank you for the awesome comment. Means a lot. I noticed you've been watching the channel and following for, I think from the get-go, man. So thank you for the support. Um, yeah, that about does it. We'll get those gift cards sent your guys' way. Just get get a hold of me. And once again, thank you to everybody that follows. And we'll continue putting out content. Tomorrow we'll be going up to Shasta and fishing with Tony Zanatelli, one of our Bass Union staff members. Been meaning to get out for a while with him now and finally making it happen. So we'll get out there, get some content, get some footage, some fish catches, and just have a good time. Introduce you guys to Tony have you guys get familiar with him and see some of the success he's had in his fishing career and get to know him a little bit more. But once again, thank you guys. Um, like, subscribe. We'll do more giveaways like this in the future, so make sure you follow along. And we'll see you guys in the next one.